In this video we are going to generate the graph of sine of x by using this unit circle. x is measured anti-clockwise from the positive x-axis. We know from a previous video that the coordinates of any point on a unit circle are given by cos x sine of x. Now we're only interested in the y value of this point here. In this case the y value of this point is 0 0.92. This red point is a point on the graph of y equals sine of x. So the x value of this point here is this angle here. I'm showing this angle in degrees in this picture but uh, I also have it stated in radians here. So 67.29 degrees is 1.17 radians. So this is one point on the graph and by moving this point around we can change the value of x so that we can get new points on the graph. So for example here x is 2.54 radians so the x value of this point is 2.54. Uh, the y value of it is the sine of angle x. Forget about the cos of x that's not coming into this graph. Now I think I'll go back to showing the coordinates of this point. So now we can see the coordinates. It's only the y value that we want, 0 0.56. We're not interested in minus 0.83. We'll cover that later. It might be helpful to uh, draw a line from this point to this point here so we can see more clearly that the y values of these two points are the same. And uh, we can see what's happening to the point as we increase x. I'll just show the trace of this point. Notice that the sine function is positive for values of x between 0 and pi radians. So let's see that again. So you can see the y value of this point is positive for angles in this range from 0 up to 180 degrees, which is pi radians. And when x is equal to 0, or sorry, when x is equal to um, pi radians, which is 3.14, we see that the sine is 0. So the y value of this point is 0. So this, this is consistent with our cast rule that we discussed in the previous video. In these two quadrants, the sine function is positive. So A means all the functions are positive. S means only the sine function is positive in this quadrant. However, when we get into the T quadrant, only the tan function is positive in here. That means the sine function is negative. And here's the value of sine of x. You can see for this particular angle, the sine of x is minus 0.63. So the sine function is negative in here the t quadrant and it's also negative in the c quadrant so you can see that the graph of y equals sine of x is below the x-axis for angles between pi radians and 2 pi radians. Now I'm only showing um, this graph over uh, 0 to 2 pi radians because you can see x drops back to 0 when I pass through 2 pi radians it goes back to 0 so I'm only showing one cycle of the sine function or one period of the sine function. Um, we could imagine this graph continuing on so for example an angle of 63.43 degrees will be well the sine of 63.43 degrees or the sine of 1.1 radians would have the same value if we were to add 360 degrees onto this. I just have to extend the graph out beyond this picture. Now the smallest interval over which a function repeats itself is called the period of the function. So the period of sine of x is 2 pi radians or 360 degrees. Now the range of a function is all the values of y 
for a given domain x. So all the values of y range here from minus 1, which is the smallest value that y can take on. I'll just get to that point. See, the y coordinate of this point is minus 1. That's the sine of um, 270 degrees. So that's the minimum value of the function. And uh, then we have the maximum value, which is plus 1. So the function ranges from minus 1 to 1 over a domain of 0 to 2 pi radians. Actually, it doesn't matter what the domain is. Um, the minimum value of y is minus 1. The maximum is plus 1. We have a continuous range of values of y from minus 1 to plus 1. 